Hello everybody and welcome to your 37th Allegro 5 tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be uh, learning about loading maps in real time. Maps in real time. Okay, so what is the significance of this? Okay, well, this is mainly going to be used in the design process of whenever you're making your games, okay? Most likely, you're not going to add in this functionality unless you want people modifying your maps or adding new maps to your game. Or, or this functionality can also be really, it could be used when if you have a game engine and your, or a map editor or something. Anything that you need to be able to see results of a change map in real time. But anyways, uh, let us get started. So this is really, really easy. This is going to be a, a simple tutorial, nothing to it. Uh, but what we're going to do is, uh, I don't know if I got rid of the keyboard event source. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to install the keyboard. Install keyboard. And uh, we're going to have to register it. Uh, so let me copy this. And... Register keyboard. Okay, so we got our keyboard registered. So what we're going to do is we don't really need an event for this. We can just update it any single time you want it. But I'm only going to uh, set it so then we update the map whenever only when we need it, right? Because if we just keep on updating it when we don't need it, it's just wasting a lot of energy on the hardware that we don't need okay so allegro key down no 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 uh allegro event key down okay so what we're gonna check we're gonna say that if events dot keyboard dot key code uh, is equal to allegro key l I'll do that for the representing loading the map uh then we're gonna do load map no then we're gonna set uh map is equal to well we need to clear the map so we'll just do map dot clear i believe it is yeah and we'll just do load map and the file name map1.txt uh, and the map file now the reason why we have to clear the map is because uh, remember vectors are resizable so if you don't clear what the contents were in the map before then it's going to continuously uh, keep on adding onto the map and therefore you're going to get a map on top of another map which is not what we want so when we clear the map that means uh, we clear all the stuff in the map data and then we load in the new data okay so uh let's just so let's test this out right now okay so we have our map right here and let me go to our map file and let me modify this let me remove these spaces right here let me save that and let me go back to the program and i'm going to click l so when i click l notice it erases so remove that. So we're we're loading it in real time. So if I want to add something else to the code, uh, if I want to make the ground longer, or something like that, uh, let me go back to our game. Click L. It loads it in. So that is how we load maps in real time. All you basically are doing is recalling the load map. And if you're using vectors, you're gonna want to clear the you're gonna want to clear the map vector and then load the map again and then you load it in load new instances etc etc so that is it for this tutorial hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye